Hello there friends and uh, welcome to another video about uh, how to create a WordPress theme from scratch and in this video we're going to take care of the uh, the header and uh, also the create a logo uh, so let's uh, get right into it so let's go to our back end first uh, so I want to uh, the user to be able to upload their own logo and display it in the uh, in the uh, navigation bar. Uh, so if you go to customize, I want them to be able to add a logo here. So let's do that. So let's go back to our file structure and I need to open up the uh, customizer for this one. And at the bottom here, uh, I will actually add a new section. So let's do a comment. Uh, the logo and in here uh, let's do vp underscore customized and then add a new section and in here I'm just going to do logo section like this and then an array uh, so the first thing we need is the title and uh, for the title, I think just the uh, logo seems to be appropriate. And then we need uh, the uh, text domain. So just copy and paste that in there. Comma, just now we need a description. And the description, uh, I want to uh, set the logo. For your site, and then uh, the priority. So already, I'm gonna put it uh, at the bottom here. So I'm gonna put uh, two thirty. Yes, I think the priority here on this one here for a split screen is two twenty. So let's do two thirty. And uh, say my column there. Now let's add the uh, the setting. Uh, so again, we be customize. And uh, add setting site logo, and then uh, the default value uh, needs to be uh, get underscore template underscore uh, directory. Actually, I think um, this could actually be empty. Uh, don't need a value here to be honest, but I'm just gonna do it anyways. Uh, and I'm gonna put that one in our image folder and logo dot png. I don't think I have the logo saved there yet. Yes, I do. Uh, all right. So that's that, and then the type. So the type is always, uh, well, almost always theme mod. My comment the end, and then let's add a controller. So we can just do mice add let's go contr uh, control, and this one needs a new VP underscore. Let's go mice image control like this. And in here, let's take in the VP customize. That one there, and then the uh, the setting site logo, like so. And then, uh, as always, an array. And here, first thing we need is a label. And this uh, label uh, needs to. Be uh, maybe your logo, and then uh, once again the uh, uh, text domain. And uh, I think uh, what do I have? Curly brackets should be normal brackets like this, and then a comma there. And under the label, uh, let's take it up to the section. 
which in our case is the logo section. Let that copy and paste. And comma and under section the setting and let's uh, do a site logo it's the same as here comma and then the priority uh, well actually you really don't need a priority here this is only going to be one value but let's just be thorough let's uh then I call on that and save it and then let's go back here and refresh uh, to string. So this was line 131. Line 131. So VP customize add control. The new VP customize image control. Then uh, VP customize or dot. Uh, so the comma. All right. Uh, refresh all right so now we have the logo and uh, that's the that's the logo there all right now let's uh, add this one in our uh, navigation bar so uh, let's uh, let's head back here to uh, not the customizer but let's go to uh, header.php and uh, what we're gonna do is uh, just above here uh, we're going to uh, add a, a class of uh, navbar and the navbar navbar nav like so and in this one we need another class of uh, navbar lo logo okay and in here let's do an h tag uh like uh, so let's open up our hp tag so i want the the logo to lead back to our uh, uh, front page um so i want to do a php tag and an echo send escape underscore url and to get the home url we need just a simple function uh, home underscore url all right and uh, then I a backslash like this, this will lead to the that gets to the home page, and then for uh, the logo, what this is going to display, uh, we first need to actually do an image like so, and uh, well, this image is going to be close, I guess, like this. All right, so we need a source, and the source is going to be uh, uh, PHP tag and echo get underscore theme underscore mod and then we need let's go back to customizer we need uh, uh, this one here uh, what to chose uh, what to show so this is the site logo and then uh, let's go back there to header and let's paste that in the site logo and then for the default we need get underscore template let's show this one on one there get template or directory underscore uri like so and then where to find it so image slash logo dot png then my colon at the end and uh, we don't need an alternative, I think, for now. <clears throat> so that's uh, that's that. All right. Now let's uh, save this one. Actually, we need to put this one here. Uh, actually, menu. Uh, we have to put this one in the navbar. Uh, navbar nav. So let's. Uh, Set that there and let's close that PHP tag. Let's refresh for now and uh, hold this back here. Let's uh, refresh. All right, so you can see here uh, the logo is uh, massive, so we need to we need to fix that. All right, so you can see that uh, logo front footer and then the rest. But it works. Got the logo in there, so let's 
deal with that. Now, uh, let's do the rest of the of the uh, nav bar. Um, so we have a uh, a function uh, is uh, front page. So I'm gonna I want to remove the whole uh, move the whole function up to the top. Uh, like uh, like this, and up here I need to open up some PHP tags. Okay, and I remove that one. Remove this one, and let's do. So we close it there. Uh, okay, so we're gonna make this mobile friendly as well. Right from the start. So let's wrap the whole thing in a nav with a class of uh, navbar. All right, so this is gonna wrap uh, the whole thing. For now, so let's uh, take this and uh, it out and paste it in here. And also let's uh, move in, move in this a little bit. All right. Yeah, nice. Okay, good. All right. So uh, next, uh, under the navbar, uh, uh, we need to add another class and call it uh, navbar slider. Slider and in here, do an h uh, tag there, and it's not gonna lead anywhere. And then we're gonna do an SVG. SVG and the width for this one here is 30 and the height should also be 30. And that now next thing here is uh, the path. So path D equals uh, M comma five thirty comma five and the stroke uh, that's the color white and the width on the whole thing stroke width uh, is equal five as well. Then close it and then close the whole path like so. All right, so let's copy this and so let's change uh, the values a little bit. This is 14, so this needs to be 30.14, and the rest is the same. And then the last one, because we want it to jump down, they need to be below each other 23. 23 and on the path that we need to close this SVG like uh, like so nice uh, and actually now bar should be span not div okay so now we have a slag okay let's uh, go back to our front end let's uh, refresh and else if uh, different for the seven uh, ah, yes, okay, of course. We need to uh, end this whole thing uh, at the bottom, all the way down. Let's do uh, end if. Like, uh, like so. Let's uh, save this and now let's go back and refresh. Uh, yeah, I probably won't see anything now. We will see anything. You see it a little bit better when we style this. Uh, okay, so let's add the rest of the things before we do anything else. Uh, so on the span tag, we have the nav on nav, and uh, this is the for the logo. Okay, and then we got the menu right there. Let's make it uh, move up a little bit. And let's also move this up. 
make it a little bit uh, nicer looking. All right, so after this one here, let's add uh, another for uh, for the uh, mob mobile navbar. So let's do class of uh, navbar logo underscore mob that's for mobile and in here we're gonna do the exact same thing we're gonna take this a tag for the logo copy and paste it in just like so and then that's that and then outside of this div uh should i put oh wait i should have put this one in its own div i think Let's see uh nav bar nav has its own div yeah right so one div should actually move up there all right so this uh, div nav bar logo Div stops there, and then one nav bar. This nav bar nav all the way out there. So let's see what do we write. So this that that right then div nav bar nav. It should end right under here. Then we got another div there. Okay, good. Nice. All right, so we got the nav finished there. And now let's do another div with an ID of nav bar. Let's go side menu. And then also class of side nav. Okay, and here we need an a tag and we need a class of VPN to close. And uh, in here, uh, the href is just, it's not going to lead anywhere. And then we need in here, uh, let's do times. So that's that. And under here, another PHP tag. And bring, let's bring in the menu one more time here. So VP underscore nav underscore menu. And in here is the theme location. And it's the CIY underscore nav bar. Run there. And then uh, let's uh, close. That one and then another thing we're going to do here is under this div i'm going to do an uh, id not div with an id of uh, main so main hmm. that's weird uh div id equals main like this Okay, and then in the footer, we have to uh, uh, find the closing closing div there. So let's uh, open up our footer. Let's first let's save that, and then our footer. And it should be right before uh, the body tag. Let's uh, do a ending div there. All right, now let's go back here and uh, let's refresh. Uh, it's going to look very, 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 very weird. I think, yes, double menu. Now we get the X there, oops. Uh, as you can see, yeah, it looks a little bit weird. Uh, but we will change that with um, some good old fashioned CSS and JavaScript. So let's start with the uh, CSS. All right, so uh, let's go to our CIY underscore style sheet. And in here, let's uh, go to uh, navigation here. Uh, so 
I'm going to put that before the pages. And there's a comment, so navigation bar. Okay, and then uh, down here, let's do a little uh, nav bar. So the background color should be uh, the, uh, let's do the container background color. And then overflow is hidden. And the height for this whole thing is 63 pixels. Okay, and next let's do the lo logo. So nav bar. Nav bar logo. And uh, it's wrapped in A tag first, so I don't want any padding on this one. Zero. Let's uh, scroll up a little bit and then uh, let's do the image, the nav bar, and then the logo, and then the image tag. And here we need a height, so it should be the same 63 pixels, and width, like so, like so. it's uh, auto, and then the display. I want to block display, right? And then uh, I want to float it to the left, like this. And then uh, let's deal with the, the A tags in the actual nav bar. So we got the uh, nav bar A. And in here, I want to also to float to the left this. Display block color FFF and the text align should be center and padding uh, 20 pixels, 16 pixels, and then for the font, font size should be 17 pixels, then the text transformation, transformation. text transformation, uh, text transform, text transform upper case, and then the text Decoration. Let's do uh, none. I don't want any uh, uh, lines, underlines there. Then text align for the A tag should be center. And then uh, letter spacing is one pixel right there. Next, let's do the ULs. So nav bar UL. And the margin, I don't want any margin, so zero. And then the list style, none. Let's uh, save that, see what we have. Let's refresh. All right, so we have something here. Now it's uh, this menu here that kind of messes things up for now. So uh, this is the uh, uh, navigation menu for, uh, uh, it's going to be hidden. That's a little feature we're going to have for mobile. So let's go back to our style sheet and in here we have to make a new comment. So let's do the mobile uh, navigation. Um, so the first thing we need is the side nav that we created. So side underscore nav. And the height, um, this one should be 100%. Then the width. Uh, zero this now is going to be hidden right then position takes and then the z index uh, one and then we need a top margin zero and the left margin the same and uh, then the background 
color. Let's just do black here. One, one, one. And opacity. 0 0.9. And the overflow needs to be hidden. Then we get a padding top. 60 pixels. And then transition. 0 0.5 seconds. Okay. And then under this, let's take care of the uh, A tags. Uh, do that one. All right, so side nav, uh, and then the A tags. Um, so we get the padding, so 10 pixels, 10 pixels, 10 pixels, and 30 pixels. The font size, 22 pixels. Then the color should be CCC. Display needs to be blah. The transition 0.4s. Then text declaration none. And uh, letter spacing one pixel. Okay, and then uh, under here we need uh, a hover effect. So side nav, a tag, and the hover. And it's going to change the color to white. And under the hover, we need to fix the buttons. So we had side store nav. And uh, the button for close. Okay, and uh, the position, this one needs to be absolute. Then the top margin, zero. The right margin, 22 pixels. And font size, font size, uh, 36 pixels and margin left uh, 50 pixels okay and under that we need uh, the slider uh, bar slider uh, then display none let's uh, save and uh, let's go to the front end and refresh See what else? All right, so now we get the menu here, nice and neat. Now, uh, if I change here, you can see here the menu is not uh, responsive. And uh, what we want to do is when it comes to a certain screen size, uh, the uh, the other menu will show here. This will be three bars right there. Um, so let's uh, fix that. So what we need to do is we need to need we need to add a uh, uh, media query. <clears throat> so uh, if we go down that to, uh, let's see, at the bottom, and do an at media, and do a max width of 800 pixels. And in this one, Let's start with the uh, navigation bar. So we have the nav bar. Nav. And we don't want to display the nav bar nav. So when it's uh, under 800 pixels, it should disappear. All right, so none. And then for the uh, logo, uh, logo, remember we had and one for mobile, like this. So the display needs to be blah, margin left, auto, and then uh, margin, oops, margin right, also auto. 
and then uh, for the a tag for this one so uh, nav bar uh, underscore logo underscore mob the a tag for padding zero and then uh, for the image itself so we have the nav on underscore logo underscore mob and the image tag and then we need a height of 63 pixels and the width uh, auto and then the display of block like so and then the last thing we need that is uh, the nav bar slider and uh, now we want this one to to be displayed so let's do display of block Let's save that and uh, let's see if it works. Let's uh, refresh here. All right, so look, a certain size, 800 pixels to be correct. Let's uh, let's open up the mobile here. All right, so we have 508 pixels there right now. Let's enlarge this one here all the way to 800. So around 800 pixels, it changes. All right, so under 800 pixels, this menu comes up. If we hit it, uh, nothing happens because we have to fix. Um, remember, we had an ID of main uh, right under the header, this one here. Okay, so we need to fix that, and we need to add some JavaScript. So let's take care of the main the main tag. So let's go back to our style, uh, and let's uh, deal with the main. <clears throat> um, so let's do after the navbar slider. Let's see. Uh, let's go back. Okay, right there. Right. So comment of uh, the main body. All right. So it is an ID of main. So the transition for this needs to be uh, margin left zero point five seconds then the overflow needs to be hidden and after overflow we need a width 100 percent all right so that's the main for uh, the main page there um, so let's save this and uh, let's go back Let's save, and nothing's gonna happen here still because we need to add the JavaScript. Right, so if we go back to our header, let's add a few JavaScript uh, functions. Um, so let's uh, see, we got a header right there. So we need to target this A tag first. So it's gonna do an on click uh, function, and it's gonna call open side menu, like so. And also, we need to close it as well. So we head down here to this navigation menu and this h tag. So if we go after the class, do the same here on click and close side menu like this. Let's save it, and then uh, next thing we need to do is we need to open up our JavaScript file to, uh, to add these functions here. So under right under here, I'm gonna do a comment. So it's uh, menu functions. All right. So first the function called open side menu. And uh, we need a document dot get element by ID. Uh, so we need a uh, nav on a bar. So side then menu. Let's see. Did I do that? Nav on side menu. Yes. So it's this one right there. 
the navbar side menu and it's the style dot width which is equals to 250 pixels and then a document dot get element by ID and we need to uh, target the main ID then same here uh, dot style dot margin uh, left which is equals to 250 pixels uh, and I comment the end all right so that's that now the close function here so function uh, close side menu and it's the document dot get element by id uh, same here have uh, bar side menu dot style dot width equals uh, zero pixels and then the document dot get element by id then the main dot style dot margin left equals again zero pixel let's save that let's go to our front end here and let's uh, refresh see what we got all right so it opens up and uh, it closes nicely and if we go to our front page the menu is not here right and that's exactly what we wanted cool so that's that now uh, last thing we need to do is just to push this to github um, so let's uh, open up our uh, uh, terminal so let's do a git status to see what's up and here you can see all the files that we have uh, changed and uh, this needs to be committed so let's do git add a and then git commit with a message and uh, someone added uh, a navigation bar navigation bar okay and hit enter all right looks fine now let's push it up so we get push let's hope it's working looking good and then uh, get status at the end to see everything works fine nothing to commit working to be clean and that's what we want to see all right so that's it for this video so yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next